calculating an average to use a break even. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate an average and calculate break even using the formula. Before we start, this video is part of a series of videos on this topic of break even. It's advised that you've watched the previous video on break even before viewing this one. You should understand how to calculate break even and you should be aware of the break even formula before proceeding with this video. You could be asked to calculate an average. If the question requires to calculate an average, then you're going to need to be able to work this out for yourself before using it as part of the break even formula. It's probably more realistic to expect a business is going to sell more than one product. Look at the example below. You've got the large jar of honey sold at £3, the medium jar sold at £2, and the small jar sold at £1. See if you can calculate what the average selling price of the honey would be. Pause the video now while you do that, and then I'll cover the answer for you. Hopefully you've calculated the answer would be £2. And how would you set about doing this? Well, firstly, you would have to add together all the selling prices. So £3 plus £2 plus £1 would give you £6. And you've got three different types of jars. So you divide that 6 by 3, which gives you the average selling price of £2 per jar. For those of you that like to learn a formula, then the eighth way to calculate it is technically add all the items together that you've got and then divide by how many that you have. As simple as that. So let's try and use that to actually perform a calculation for a question. B's got a sweet shop and you've got the following information. You've got fixed cost of £40,000, the variable cost of jelly babies being £1, the variable cost of wine gums being £1.20 and the selling price of jelly babies and wine gums being £2 each. So you know already that obviously the jelly babies and the wine gums, the average price would be two, because if you added two plus two gives you four, divide by two gives you two. However, to calculate the break even, you're going to need to work out the average variable cost, because we've got a one pound and a one pound twenty. So that's exactly what we're going to do. One pound plus one pound twenty gives us two pound twenty, and we've got two lots of information, so we're going to divide it by two, which gives us the average variable cost per item of £1.10. We can now take that number and we can pop that into our formula. So we've got our break-even formula there, our fixed cost divided by our selling price minus our variable cost. We know our fixed cost of £40,000. We know our selling price is £2. And we know our variable cost that we just calculated as £1.10. That would give us then 90p. So 40,000 divided by 90p would give us 44,444.4 units. Now, we can't sell 0.4 of a suite. Now, this is where in break even we tend to round it up. So, we would say that you have to sell 44,445 units or packets of sweets to break even. So, what I'd like to do now is have a go yourself. Here's the question A car showroom has the following information your fixed cost is £80,000. You've got your variable cost of model A being £2,000 and your variable cost of model B being £4,000. You've got your selling price of model A being £5,000 and you've got your selling price of model B being £8,000. For those of you that spotted it already, you're going to have to find two different averages before you can use it with the break-even. However, I want you to try and find the break-even point for the following business. Pause the video now while you do that and then unpause to see the answer. So what we need to do first was find the average variable cost. So what I've done now is added my 2,000 and 4,000 together and divided them by 2. So that's 6,000 divided by 2, which gives me £3,000 variable cost per car. I also need to find the average selling price per car. That's £5,000 plus £8,000, which gives me £13,000. And I'm going to divide it by 2 because I've got two lots of data, which gives me £6,500 average selling price per car. Now I've got this information, I can use that in my formula. What I would have done then was take my £80,000 fixed cost and I would have divided that by my 6500 minus my 3000 which would have given me 80000 divided by 3500 and that would have given me 22.8 cars. And we've already established that you can't sell 0 0.8 of a car, so it's going to round to 23 cars. So the dealership would have to sell 23 cars. That is the end of this video. Hopefully you're now able to calculate an average and you'll be able to use that calculation of an average to find a break-even point. 
It's all about thinking critically and logically. You may want to now check out the video which talks about how we're going to rearrange formula if you have to do that with a break-even calculation. Thanks for checking out the B Business B YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at B Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like. It's facebook.com forward slash B Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on bbusinessb.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.